That is correct. The first train on the John Galt line will run July 22nd. Great news. Thank you, Dagny. My pleasure. Thank you. Dagny, this is uh, Mr. Brady, a delegate from the Union of Locomotive Engineers. You're busy. I'll be brief. We're not going to allow you to run that train on the John Galt line. Get out of here. You do not come into my office and tell me what you will or will not allow what me I to do. What I meant to say was that a committee has decided that allowing men to run your train on that untested metal would violate their human rights. Are you serious, Mr. Brady? You can't force men to go out and get killed just for profit. Put that in writing. That you want to stop your men from working and earning a wage. Miss Taggart, you don't understand. Oh, no, 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 I understand perfectly. You want me to provide the jobs, and you want to make it impossible for me to have any jobs to provide. You can do whatever you want with your men, Mr. Brady, but that train will run if I have to drive the damn thing myself because, Mr. Brady, if that bridge collapses, there won't be any railroad left in existence. But if it does not collapse, no member of your union will ever get a job on the John Galt line. Now, are you going to forbid your men to run that train? I never used the word forbid. I'm only stating that you cannot force anyone to take that run. I would never force a man to do anything. I'll ask for volunteers. Then it will be my problem, not yours. I advise them to refuse. Do what you want, Mr. Brady. But leave them the choice. 